I got this little... We're sitting in the driveway right now. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been a little MIA because a lot has been going on in life. We are moving, which you can probably tell by the title of this video. This basement that we've been living in for the past two years is empty, but I have been more MIA because I actually have been dealing with shingles for the past few weeks, which- I told her not to go up on the roof, but she did it anyways. I don't know if you can kind of, you can probably kind of see it on camera. I don't know if you can, but. I had shingles all the way um, up my neck and behind my ear into my head. And so that was the worst thing. Honestly, like it was the worst pain I think I've ever been in. Clearly Sutton is very opinionated about yes. it as well. <laughs> yeah, so I've been healing from shingles for the past few weeks. We had Sam's mom come and help out with Sutton because my mom was actually out of town. Now we're moving and we had to get packed like all at once because we were planning on packing like a few weekends before moving. I came down with shingles and I was honestly debilitated. Um, it was seriously like the worst pain ever. I can't believe I got shingles. Today is November 15th, it is a Wednesday and it is technically the first day of our lease on our house up in Denver. Woot. We are not moving in until Saturday. We live like an hour away right now. And so okay. we are actually, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon okay. and we're gonna go drive up to our house and get our keys and our garage door openers and kind of tour the house and do a little empty house tour so that is where we're going now we are so excited Almost four o'clock it took a little bit to get here with traffic we're sitting in the driveway right now super excited we have to get our keys out of the lockbox sam and i drove separately he's coming up to my car right now hi guys we drove separately because i'm bringing up the house plants the important stuff We're home! We are! So when you first walk in, we have the little dining area and living area all combined. And it has this really pretty bay window here. And then two kind of hallways. One goes into the kitchen area and then one goes down to the bedroom. So we'll go down that first. Okay, so when you first walk down the hall to your right is the bathroom. This has been like completely redone recently. So that is super nice. Nice. I think the thing about renting is there are always like some updates that you want to do and you just can't can't do them because you're renting. The vanity in here is super nice and they like did a shiplap wall and redid the shower so it's really pretty in here. So that is the bathroom and then coming out of the bathroom the first bedroom you see across the hall is either going to be the nursery or the office we can't decide yet. One weird thing about this house is they didn't include closet doors, so we're gonna have to install some nice closet doors, but that's okay. And then if you turn out of this bedroom, on the same side of the hall is another bedroom or office. All hardwood floors, which is really nice, and this one has like a built-in bookshelf unit. And again, there is no door on the closet here. And then, at the end of the hall, there's just like a little linen closet here. Across the way is the master. So this is the master bedroom, two big windows that face the front of the house. I feel like it's really hard to see on camera. And then, like I said, there's no doors on the closet, which is just so weird to me, but that's the closet. So that's the master. Sedzy. We're having a pretty good time. Yeah. And this is the view for like the kitchen nook and living area coming out of the hall. And then you go into the kitchen and this is the kitchen. I'm not a huge fan of the kitchen, specifically the tile on the floor, but I'll put a rug here or something. And on the other side of the kitchen is just like a little pantry area. And then there's the door to go to the basement and outside. Sam just found the garage door openers. He's been looking for them forever. Well, they weren't, I couldn't find them. We needed them. <laughs> we'll do the backyard last. This looks really scary on camera. <laughs> it's just like a main area when you first get in. And then over here to the left is the second bathroom of the house. This is not an updated bathroom. It's just kind of an extra bathroom. It has a special throat. Yeah, I know. The weird thing about this bathroom, and we laugh so hard at this, 
I don't even know if you can see it on camera. It's got a shower and everything, but yeah, the the toilet and the shower over here are like on the step stool. And when you're in person, it definitely looks like it's like a little throne or something. So the throne toilet room, throne toilet and shower. And those are the stairs, obviously, that we just came down. So across this entryway is the unfinished laundry area. Here's just like some extra storage. And then you turn to your right and we've got an extra fridge, extra drawers, a utility sink, laundry, all that stuff. So we'll go back out here and then just more closet storage for both of these There's areas. There's so many closets. There is so much storage in this house. And then moving on to kind of like the finished area, we've got this main room, which is just a living room. We'll probably end up putting the TV down here. I don't think we're gonna keep the TV upstairs. And then over here, off of this main living area is just another bedroom. It's actually the biggest bedroom in the house. So this will eventually be like the guest bedroom area. And then a weird thing off of this guest bedroom area over here to the right, more storage, like Sam said, there's so much storage, but there's this door here and it's meant to be a closet, but it's honestly, it's called a room on the blueprint because it is so huge. And it's so weird to me because there's like a key included with it. I don't know why. So um, yeah, this is like a massive walk-in closet, I guess. They left their mirror here. So we've got that as well. And this is the view of that big guest room leaving this little closet area. So we've got a bunch of space in here for guests. And then we'll go back upstairs to see the backyard, which the puppies already love. Huh? Yeah. And then there's this cool like divider wall. Sam and I thought that was really cool when we toured this place. And then there's like a little, <laughs> the dogs are loving it already. There is a little like stone kind of area built in here. I think we're gonna try to put a fire pit and some like Adirondack chairs or something around that. This is our garage. So you pull up the driveway and you can enter obviously through here, but um, you can enter the house this way and then come through the back door. And then they've got like a little path here all the way to the back, little stone gravel path back there, which I'm not really sure what that stone gravel path is for. I think it's just a decision of landscaping to minimize the amount of grass you have to water. Yeah, maybe. Because it doesn't lead to anything. So if we go back here on this path next to the garage, the back of the backyard is this just gravel drive area and you would think it would lead to like a road or something but it doesn't back here they've got paved off um just like some shrubbery and stuff like that but something really cute about this is there's a little rhubarb plant over here Bye -bye. that is our little empty house tour it feels like it's ow feels like it was just kind of all over the place that is a little empty house tour we've got more moving stuff coming up it's thursday the 16th yesterday we were able to get our keys to our house which is really exciting and now we've got these next two days to kind of like finish up packing and get ready for Saturday, which is the big move. We actually have Friendsgiving on Saturday. I have to make some food and I actually packed all of my kitchenware. So I've got to run to Target and pick up like a casserole dish and some stuff to bring over some food for Friendsgiving. Saturday is gonna be a crazy, crazy day. I'm back day. home from Target and the little afternoon walk that Sutton and I go on every single day. It was really sad having shingles these past few weeks because I did not have energy to do that walk. We do a walk around like 11 30 12 every day and he always naps for like 30 minutes during that walk. It is perfect. It's like my me time, my Jesus time. I found this new brand at Target. Um, it's called Figment and maybe they're not new. Maybe this is me just like not being aware but I got some stuff. I got this little like cast iron um skillet i don't know why i'm losing my words and then these stoneware uh baking dish sets do you want to come talk on the camera he keeps talking he loves the camera i don't know why he loves talking to the camera so much hey whoa a super baby <laughs> so for now we're gonna have some lunch and then maybe do you want to make some caramel apples <gasps> yeah <gasps> let's make some caramel apples what do you say the 
it's moving day saturday at like 7 45 in the morning we have some family and friends that are about to show up in 15 minutes to like help us pack up the u-haul sam and mom are going to go get the u-haul here in like the next couple of minutes yesterday was such a busy day i completely forgot to vlog i finished the candy apples made some apple cake for friendsgiving made some like veggie dish for friendsgiving finished up packing it has been such a crazy hectic busy time but today is officially moving day we moved all of the boxes that we had down here in the basement upstairs just to kind of like stage them so that it's easier for everyone to move it into the u-haul mom went and picked up donuts for everyone this morning it's so crazy i just can't believe this is happening like we are officially moving when we initially moved into this basement we literally thought we were going to be here for just a couple of months and it's been almost two years so this is just a long time coming and we are feeling really blessed and really thankful when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We're here. We have to unload the U-Haul before Friendsgiving. I'm tired. It's for you. <laughs> so now we gotta unload everything. We're just waiting for some friends to show up. And we're gonna unload our stuff. Yeah. Found what we're looking for in life. but things are fine. Good morning. It is Sunday. We stopped recording yesterday. It just got really, really crazy. I actually ended up going to our friend's house that lives right down the street to put Sutton down for a nap. Here, do you want to be in the, the video? You just want to talk? Yeah. And while Sutton napped, uh, the guys unloaded all of the boxes in our house. And then we had a Friendsgiving last night, which was so fun just to be with our friends. And we got all of the kiddos matching pajamas in true parent fashion we forgot to take a photo of all the kids together when we came back last night we put Sutton down to sleep and unpacked a few boxes in the kitchen we obviously haven't unpacked a lot of stuff because we have a ton of boxes still left <laughs> our breakfast this morning is leftover friends giving food and leftover donuts so very nutritious we are definitely moving <laughs> We just got back from Target. Probably the biggest Target run I've ever had. Yeah. Now we're unloading some stuff from Target. Sam's parents are on their way over to hang out and see the new place and help us unpack a little bit. And then our friends are actually making dinner for us right down the street so that we don't have to worry about that tonight. So that is so sweet. I'm just so relieved I could cry because I, this is really stressful. Moving with a child is like a whole new level of stress. Sam is bringing stuff in for me from Target. Huzzah! Can you say what's up? Yeah, I'm cool, okay? 
I'm sitting on the kitchen floor right now next to all of the stuff we got at Target. There's so much to do and so many things I want to do. I also picked up a lot of stuff from the new Figment brand. Wow, I don't know why I did it that way. This is a pizza stone because we make pizza all the time. But we picked up like Tupperware and this is the same brand of the cast iron and the little casserole dishes that I got earlier. I'm gonna put all of this stuff away right now. Thanksgiving and I am currently making pie crusts right now. Sutton and I went to Target this morning and I got a new lamp for the living room because the previous owner actually left their old lamp and it was not it was not a vibe. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this kitchen that would be renter friendly. I spend so much of my time in the kitchen and I just want it to look, you know, I don't know, fun got a lot of organizing, a lot of unpacking. We've still been living out of boxes these past few days. It's just an exciting time. Moving, unpacking, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. Then it's like Valentine's Day, my birthday, our anniversary, and then Sutton turns one. So we've got so much stuff coming up in the next four months. For now, I have a really, 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 really got to get back to prepping food because I'm already late. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for moving with me. And I'm excited to be in this new place and be here with you guys. I will see you really, really soon. Bye, YouTube.